It's a quarter after one, I'm all alone and I need you to stop this white nonsense right now. Hey everybody, I'm Monica and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about the Lady A controversy and how Lady Antebellum really needs to sit down. But before we get into it, please subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. In early June, right as the Black Lives Matter movement was picking up new steam, country music band Lady Antebellum announced that they would be changing their name in solidarity with the movement and to show their support. The word antebellum refers to Southern life before the Civil War, a time of slavery. But Southerners who are unaware of what the word means today, like this band, associate it with Southern homes and architecture, plantations. So they saw the word as an homage to the splendors of Southern living. Gross! The band has been called out for the name Lady Antebellum before, but they said it was inspired by all the music born in the South that influenced us. Southern rock, blues, R&B, gospel, and of course, country. You mean music created by Black people? You dum-dums? So then they realize that the word is racist and make this statement. After much personal reflection, band discussion, prayer, and many honest conversations with some of our closest black friends and colleagues, we have decided to drop the word antebellum from our name and move forward as Lady A, the nickname our fans gave us almost from the start. And this is where it gets extra stupid. Lady Antebellum wants to change their name to Lady A, a nickname they have used for about 10 years. But the name Lady A already belongs to another artist based in Seattle. Black gospel artist Anita White has been using the name Lady A for 20 years. She rightfully spoke up when the band announced the change, which led to them meeting over Zoom to negotiate. After the call, both parties shared images from the call, saying it went well, moving forward with positive solutions and common ground. There were even talks on the two artists collaborating on a song, but then White changed her mind, which led to Lady Antebellum suing her. Anita White's new attorney made a claim of $10 million, the price Lady Antebellum would have to pay if they want to use her name. The $10 million is in order to use half to rebrand and market herself, with the other half to be donated to charities, including those that support independent Black artists. Well, Lady Antebellum was like, no, we want to use the name and not pay you, so their lawsuit is for recognition of a trademark it claims we have held for many years, and to avoid further litigation. So their lawsuit is so both parties can use the name and without paying white for it. This might sound fine for some people, but it's really not. For starters, even if White keeps using the name Lady A, Lady Antebellum has a much higher SEO since they're a larger band and will always pop up first in searches, making it harder for White to grow as an artist and for fans to find her. White stated, I attempted to upload my single and couldn't verify my name, Lady A, for several days. It finally went through and now I'm just waiting until my July release to see if my single will be buried. Already, if you Wikipedia Lady A, Lady Antebellum pops up first instead of Anita White. This is just insane. To show solidarity and support for the Black Lives Matter movement, a band made of all white people is suing a black artist? That's insane, right? That's insane. It's like a prime example of performative allyship. This isn't about doing the right thing at all. It's about saving face and trying to stay culturally relevant. If Lady Antebellum really wants to do the right thing, like they claim, they would drop this and choose a new name entirely. I don't know why that's so hard to comprehend. But I do want to get into the technicalities of this lawsuit. Legally, Lady Antebellum does have standing to win this lawsuit, even though it is morally beyond fucked up. But so does Anita White. There's a really great Twitter thread by Alexandra J. Roberts that explains the situation. Roberts explains that Lady Antebellum already has several trademarks for the name Lady A, like musical recordings and apparel. However, they haven't really put out any goods or services that use the name Lady A. It's really just a nickname used to refer to them in articles and things like that. There is a shirt that says Lady A on it, but not in a manner that shows this is a copyrighted logo. Meanwhile, Anita White has used the name Lady A to release albums, go on tour, and it's just generally easy to see that she has always used Lady A as her main identifying moniker. Roberts also points out that White has not threatened to sue. The 10 million is a proposed settlement, which Lady Antebellum could avoid if they would just stop this. The lawsuit is also not trying to stop White from using the name Lady A, it's just to assert that Lady Antebellum can also use it but like I said before, that's still messed up because it still effectively erases white and will make it very hard to find her online. Also, on another point, Lady Antebellum trying to change their name to Lady A doesn't make the name any less racist. In White's case, the A in Lady A stands for Anita. But for Lady Antebellum, what does the A stand for? Still Antebellum! Lady A 
would still mean Lady Antebellum. It's not any better or less racist. Now, I know a lot of this is probably the band's camp and not actually them, but they need to talk to their reps and stop this. They need to drop this claim against Anita White and change their name to something else entirely. I am so tired of white people thinking they know what is best for black people. I am, am so tired of white people claiming to be allies, but then doing things like this. They're not really trying to do the right thing, they're just trying to do the right thing for them. Be better and find a new name for your weird lame country pop radio music. So in the spirit of this band getting an entirely new name, I have some suggestions for them. Three white people. We're not racist. The South is cool. Country music? Question mark. Con tree. Like a tree, an actual tree. We have black friends. We will never be as culturally relevant as Old Town Road. My great 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 grandparents probably own slaves. That's really all I have to say about this right now, but I would love to know what you think. What, how do you feel about this lawsuit? What should Anita White do next? Will Lady Antebella maybe just like go away? Hopefully. Let me know in the comments. Bye.